Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have an Adobe XD2 ProtoPie prototype video for you guys. We're going to be making a movie app in Adobe XD. And then in the next video, we're going to prototype that and add a little bit more motion in ProtoPie Studio. So here's what we're going to be making. We're going to swipe back and forth. We're going to have a zoom effect on each of these images just for a bit of detail and to kind of focus really on that movie. Then we're going to give the movie and its genre below that as well as adding a swipe up and swipe down effect so we can get to the heart icon to add this to our favorites. So that's what we're going to be doing. My original design of this is actually on the outro if you guys have seen that so that's where I got the idea from today I wanted to add a little bit to it so let's see what we can do with Protopy instead of After Effects okay so here's what the project file is gonna look like and I'm gonna turn on my layout I have a two column layout 70 spacing on the top my column width is 20 and gutter width is 335 so let's first start by dragging in a rectangle and I'm just going to drag that out full width of the artboard. I'm going to adjust the height on this to 180 pixels high. And then I'm going to select this icon and the last two values I'm going to put to 15 for each of the bottom corner border radiuses. And then I'm going to remove the border and apply my pinkish red. The color code on that is FF4877. With that we can drag in our Apple status bar. I'm providing this for you but you can easily use uh, Apple's uh, UI kit. That's where I've gotten this from. And then we can drag out the black bar here at the bottom. For navigation, we're going to have a menu on the left. So I'm going to drag that into position. And then we're going to have a bit of text, a drop down arrow, and then a magnifying glass in the top right corner. Our text is going to say what category we have selected. So we're going to have movies. And I'm going to set this to white. I think today we'll go with circular standard font. I'm going to leave it at book and then bump it up to 20. Make sure it's centered. And then we can horizontally center this to the artboard by clicking that button. Once we've done that, I'm going to touch this icon to the side of it, grab both of them, group them, and then recenter this to the artboard. Command shift G will ungroup those. And then we can line everything up centered again. Once I have this arrow and movies vertically centered, I'm then going to select the arrow and drop it down one just because I feel like this icon's a little too high. So then we can group those again and make sure they're centered horizontally. Selecting all three of our navigation elements and then deselecting the background and then we can vertically align them just like that. So that is our navigation for our app. For our main content, we don't have it too much here. So I'm going to drag out a rectangle for the movie. And then on this, I'm going to set this to 311 wide, 464 high. Centering that to the artboard. I'm going to position this rectangle about 56 from the bottom of this. There we go. That still allow us to have plenty of space up here. So when we swipe this up to see our buttons, we have plenty of room and it doesn't get in the way of our navigation. On this rectangle, I'm going to apply a 10 to the border radius, remove the border, and then I'm going to drag in my first image, which is the Rampage movie poster. So here we're not actually using the movie cover, we're just using like a poster, and we're going to have this scale down as you swipe over to this movie. So it will scale up and scale down depending on which one we're viewing. To separate this from the background a little bit more, we're going to apply a shadow. I'm going to leave everything the default values except the blur. I'm going to bump that to 20. The next thing we have is the title of the movie. And I'm going to type out Rampage. And then I'm going to set that default black. On this text, I'm going to change this to medium. And I'm going to bump this to 25. From there, I'm going to put 25 spacing on the top and then we can hold alt and drag down and copy that change this font back to book and 20 size font and this is going to be for the genre which for this film is fantasy slash science fiction and then I'm gonna apply my gray color which the color code is B A B E C 3 selecting that and then I'm just going to drop this down one pixel from that title and that gives us some pretty nice spacing. I'm going to rename this artboard home. Then we can select its name and hit command D to duplicate it. 
I'm going to call this swipe up. And when we swipe up, we're going to move this image about 60 to 50 pixels up. So I'm going to hold shift and hit my up arrow key. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. About 50 looks good. And then here we're going to have a heart icon and then the trailers that we can select to view. So let's drag in our heart icon. This is that gray we just used. I'm going to align this up to the side of the image and go over 20. And then from the bottom of our image, I'm going to go down 15. So 20 from the side of the image in, and then 15 down from the bottom. We can then copy this fantasy science fiction text, line it up with the edge, and then go in 20 again. I'm then going to align this to the left and type out trailers. And then in parentheses, we're going to have more than one, so we're going to have two. Then I'm going to center this up with the heart icon, just like that, and then apply the blue color, which is 1592FE. And that kind of separates this from the pink color, so we can tell that is an actual button. Then we can duplicate this artboard one more time. Then we can call this heart, or whatever you want. And all we have to do here is just change the color on the heart to the red color. And if you want, you can duplicate the home image and you can implement another movie trailer, which I'm going to be using Ready Player One. So I'll input all that information and there we go. So these are our screens. One thing I do want to do is when you select the heart, I want a notification to pop up here so we can go and view all of our favorited movies. So to do that, I'm going to grab a circle and hold shift. I'm going to make this 18 by 18 and then remove the border. I'm going to align this to the top and the right side of our icon and then go out 10 and up 10. And then down 1, 2 and in 1, 2. We can then apply a shadow on that to make that stand out a little bit more. Leaving that all the current values of 3 on the Y and 6 on the blur. Then we're going to need some text. And I'm just going to put one, make that red. I'm going to drop this down to 14 on the size and then center it up inside the circle. We can then select both of those and hit command C. And then over here where we have the heart, we can paste that in and it'll automatically position it for us. So then I'm going to select all my artboards and turn off the layout. This last one I'll just call page two. Feel free to name these whatever you want. And that's all we need to get this prototype working. So this is going to be our first screen. This is going to be our second screen. On our first screen, we can swipe up on the movie, select the heart. I'm actually going to ungroup this one and group it so I can turn this one to gray. There we go. So once we swipe up, we can select the heart. The heart turns to red and then we can swipe back down. And then obviously we're going to add a lot more to this inside of prototype. So make sure you guys are subscribed with those notifications on for part two of this. I believe this is going to go out on Monday, so part two will be out on Wednesday. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more ER related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.